Alright, so we're back in Photoshop to talk about keyboard and menu shortcuts. So to find those, we're going to go to edit, keyboard shortcuts, or menu shortcuts. It doesn't matter because if we open one or the other one, the other menu will be in a different tab. Let me show you. Okay, here you have the keyboard shortcuts and here you have the menu shortcuts. So you can do both at the same time. All right, so for the keyboard shortcuts, understand that you have three areas. The application menu, which are the ones right here on the very, very top. Then you have the panels tools, which are the shortcuts that you will find in these panels right here, okay? And one example would be if I go to my layers panel, I will see that new layer, the shortcut is Shift, Command, N on a Macintosh. And if I go to my Layers panel and I go to my Option box, grayed out, there's my new layer, shortcut, Shift, Command, N. All right. So panels will be all the shortcuts for the menus that we find in our palettes. Then we have the shortcuts for the tools. These are the shortcuts that you will need for all the tools inside of the toolbox. Okay. And um, the reason why we want to save these shortcuts for both the keyboards and the menus is that if I go to my workspace button on the top right hand side of the UI, if we were to save a new workspace, it will give us the option to name it, number one. Then we can save both our keyboard shortcuts and our menu shortcuts. Okay, so make sure that when you go to edit keyboard shortcuts, you understand that there are three areas for shortcuts for the keywords. And for the menus, we have the application menus and the panel menus.